Well, good morning, YouTubers, friends, and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We're on July 24th, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Thank you all for joining me. This here is the last 24 hours for lightning strikes. Now, early this morning, Calgary, Alberta had quite a storm come through. Weather Network reporting 1,200 lightning strikes during the storm. Definitely waking up a lot of residents throughout the city. But I had to check this out. And, you know, yesterday was a very active day throughout North America for storms. And you can tell here that it's an anomaly across North America for lightning strikes right now. This is insane. The only other place that looks as crazy as that is Australia. And that's because of the large cold pressure that is moving in to a very dry and hot Australia. Now, this is the last two days of satellite imagery across North America. And watch the low pressure system come from the Pacific over the Rockies and into Alberta, creating funnel clouds and of course, this large storm with 1,200 lightning strikes recorded around Calgary, Alberta. We're lucky we didn't have a tornado at 5 in the morning. Now we're going to go to Mexico. Now, Mexico had quite an event there as well. An anomaly. Huge atmospheric compression event. As our collapsed magnetosphere is really messing with our storms. And as well, the transition of cold air and hot air. So all of these areas here were affected by a very large system that rolled over the Mexican mountains. So Durango, Sonola, this whole region This whole region was battered by this right here. Let's check this out. We're looking at infrared imagery of ghost satellite images. Huge pop-up thunderstorms, massive supercells, nothing like what we see in Alberta. But these most likely were an extreme weather event for these regions pounding them with hail and heavy rain. I want to show you here the visible images. You can see those cloud tops reaching their maximum height and then blowing up. Now with our collapsed magnetosphere, we now have cooler temperatures up above that are lower and these supercells are mixing big time with devastating effects around the world. And I've been warning about these things for the past two years on my channel. That these are going to increase. And it's really starting to show in North America as it's a very populated continent. Very hot. But we are on the verge of a mini ice age and more and more signs every day are pointing towards these effects leading to a mini ice age. More and more evidence as to our magnetosphere being affected by the sun. Our sun is very quiet. We haven't seen, we've seen one sunspot in the past three weeks. And this isn't getting any better. August is going to be a crazy month. This is what happened over Kansas last week. These large atmospheric events are increasing around the world. Now 
this is Null School showing the winds at 10,000 feet and higher. Now, it's something I, this area here where the extended cold, I had to check it out because, you know, I, I was like, what is not allowing these low pressure systems to move around? And then I, on these areas here that are kind of white out. Interesting. I had to show you that anyway. But we're going to go back to Null School. And we're going to look at our Southern Hemisphere. Which we can clearly see that our South Pole is not where it used to be. And it is, it is extending towards South America. Look at this. At 10,000 feet, it's minus 60. Surface level, four degrees, minus four degrees in Argentina right now. But our Southern Hemisphere has been ramping up in intensity and as well the size of the low pressure systems and I've been reporting them for a while. But I think it's about time that we start sharing this research, this research. Friends and family from around the world, we are definitely embarking on a great change on our planet. And I want to thank you all for watching today. And I want to thank you for tuning in to Morning Dew. I like to keep people aware and prepared as to these great changes that are happening. South Africa, minus three degrees. So the intensity and the veracity of the Southern Hemisphere weather systems, they go back and forth between the South Pole and the North Pole each season. So what we're seeing in the South right now, most likely the Northern Hemisphere during our winter months, you're going to see some very large storms. Four degrees here in higher elevations in China. So all of these uh, higher elevation cool temperatures are there. Stay aware, prepared, stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Thanks for watching today. Bye-bye.